We've reached the last of our five-part sequence on corporate strategy. And the topic we are covering here is strategy evaluation. How do we evaluate strategic options? Now, we spent a lot of time in the course identifying strategic options. Right? So you take a company, the managers do an analysis of uh, the firm strategy. And based on their assessment of the firm strategy, they identify strategic options that are worth pursuing. What we're trying to do here is uh, presenting a strategic option. So for BRL Hardy, the firm has identified the Distinto launch as a possible strategic option that is worth pursuing. So what we are trying to evaluate here is, is that a good idea? More generally, managers do identify various options, right? And they want an assessment of, does this option make sense? Should we even be doing this? So what we do to evaluate an option is uh, we work backwards. Uh, so we go back to all the elements of the strategy analysis that we've done, and we evaluate fit. In the process, we identify uh, for each of the elements of strategy, uh, what are the pros, what are the cons, and armed with this knowledge, we can now make a good decision. We can uh, make a good decision as to whether or not the strategic option is worth pursuing. So as we go through this exercise, I wanted to, um, uh, we, we want to use this exercise to evaluate the BRL Hardy distinto launch. Um, but that's what you will be doing. Uh, uh, but to illustrate the approach, I'll, I'll, use, uh, I'll use a few examples. Take Google. Um, Google's strategic option is to launch a new social network uh, called Google Circles. Um, so let's see how that makes sense uh, for Google. And you're kind of going through the same thought process here for BRL Hardy uh, and Distinto. So think of the goals. So for Google, there's an offensive rationale. We have a skill in uh, technology, and we make money through uh, advertising. Um, so if people are spending a lot of time on social networks, then that's a business we should be in, because that's time that uh, they are spending away from Google search and they're not clicking on our ads, we're not in making any money from that, somebody else is making that money. So part of this is an offensive rationale, as in this is a, a business with a lot of potential for growth, uh, we have the skills to do it, so it's consistent with our goals of uh, going in that direction. Um, there's also a defensive angle here, is uh, Facebook has emerged as a very, very uh, tough competitor for Google. And it doesn't look that way because uh, you think, well, people are not searching on Facebook. Uh, but the time they're spending on Facebook, they're looking at ads on Facebook. And these are ads and these are searches that firms, uh, that users are doing, uh, which uh, are not beneficial to Google. Google is outside the loop here, right? So if they launch uh, a social network as a defensive move, uh, it keeps Facebook uh, alert. You know, it keeps Facebook uh, uh, running scared, hopefully, and Facebook may not come after them uh, with a search engine. Uh, they're going to spend a lot of time um, bolstering their own product. So it might make sense, uh, the goal, uh, that's, that's the goal, uh, that's the reason why uh, Google wants to get into a social network. So likewise for BRL Hardy, you want to think about uh, what's the goal here, um, uh, is it consistent with what they want to do? Is the distant or launch consistent with their goals? Scope. Scope has to do with uh, what are the various businesses uh, we should be in. It gets a little murky for a company like Google, which is in all kinds of different businesses. Uh, quite honestly, I have no clue why Google is in unmanned cars. 
unless you think you know the car is going to drive itself and people are going to be browsing and checking out ads you know google has this new venture on uh, unmanned cars where the car drives itself and he's just sitting there right? um, but the social network is certainly consistent with the scope of what google could do and probably what it should do uh, because uh, it's a place where people spend a lot of time online right uh, so with BRL Hardy, you want to think about the Distinto launch is the scope of what they are embarking on with the new uh, option. I is this consistent with what they should be doing? The third issue, most important perhaps, is uh, how does this help or how does this bolster their competitive advantage? Two pieces to this. The external niche, do they or do they have a, a potential to have a strong external niche which would be protected from others if you if you look at google's social network uh, it's kind of dicey uh, on the one hand you know they're certainly optimistic that this could draw users away uh, from facebook uh, but there's also a risk that they're going to be really hammered that they just can't get they just can't attract users to switch from uh, the uh, facebook to to google so for BRLRD with the Distinto launch, uh, you want to think about, does this product launch make sense? Is this going to occupy a unique external niche? Uh, is it attractive? Uh, is it an attractive niche for them? Then you move on to the internal capabilities and resources. So with Google, you'd say they certainly have the capabilities to launch this. They've, uh, uh, they've tried, you know, they've had competent uh, offerings in the past. Uh, it just didn't take off. Not enough people signed on. Uh, it wasn't as good as the alternatives that were out there. But they have the capabilities uh, to do that. So the social network is certainly consistent with the resource base that they have. Likewise, with the Distinto launch, you want to think about their internal capabilities and resources. Uh, do they have enough of those? Is it going to pose a challenge there? Can they credibly use the resources that they have uh, to make this work out for them? economic logic business model now we've talked about how every firm has uh, an explicit or an implicit business model a way in which it makes its money it's a model that incorporates things like what's the sales growth going to be what are the margins what are the asset turns and so on so the social network is certainly something that uh, is consistent with google's business model of uh, getting into uh, an area and uh, dominating it because of their better algorithms, because of their better models, uh, technological models uh, to make a lot of money. Uh, uh, likewise, for BR Hardy and Distinto, you want to think about how the Distinto model is consistent with their business model. Right. Assess performance implications. Is there a lot of potential to make money here? That be the return side. And what are the risks? that you're taking. So with the Distinto launch, what happens if it blows up in your face? What are you going to lose? That That's the risk, right? Uh, so you want to make an assessment of what the risks are going to be. Is this going to sink the company? Is this is this a manageable, manageable risk? And what are the returns as you look at the risk return trade-off? For Google's social network, it looks like the potential returns could be uh, zero if nobody signs on quite a lot if they can get money away if they can get users away from uh, Facebook um, so the risks there are that all the investment that they're making all the time they're spending could be you know completely uh, lost uh, for Google uh, with the resources that they have uh, they might be perfectly willing uh, to throw this money away. Uh, Microsoft certainly has been willing to spend a lot of money in protecting its uh, monopoly power. A lot of that they've just lost. It's a, it's a risk that they've just lost. Uh, but that's not true of other organizations. So you certainly want to do a thoughtful assessment of the risk return trade-off. Okay, so we talked about strategy formulation and we switch, switch to strategy implementation. And here we are looking at the fit with the beliefs. Is this new venture consistent with what we believe in? Um, 
and for Google, you know, their belief, uh, their core values are to help people find whatever they want, let's say then being part of a social network is certainly consistent with that belief statement. So for B.R. Al-Hadi, what are their belief statements? What, what do they believe in? And is the distinct launch consistent with what they believe? Boundaries, I mean, boundaries are what are some areas you really shouldn't be getting into. Again, boundaries are sometimes not very explicitly drawn. Uh, you want to be careful there, but you want to do an assessment of uh, uh, what norms do they have in the organization about uh, businesses to pursue. Is this consistent with uh, like the green space, you know, areas in which they have a competitive expertise which they should be pursuing, or is it something they really should be staying out of? To balance the boundaries, because boundaries, if they are too rigidly drawn, it might forestall any new innovations. Um, so that's why you have an interactive control system, and uh, it differs across organizations. If you want to think of what the interactive control system might be at BRL Hardy, uh, but more important, have they engaged in a thoughtful process of uh, figuring out what the strategic uncertainties are and coming up with uh, a plan that addresses these strategic uncertainties. Uh, for Google in the social network, certainly uh, it, it does make a lot of sense for them uh, to be doing this. Um, diagnostic controls. This has to do with the organizational structure, the roles, the responsibilities, the relationship between corporate and the division. So with the BRL Hardy, there's a lot of, uh, lot of richness of detail on the roles of the different players and what their responsibilities are. So we want to think through this very carefully to see whether the Distinto launch is, uh, is consistent or makes sense with uh, how they've structured themselves. Along with structure goes uh, the performance evaluation and measurement system. Um, how are people assessed? Um, how are they rewarded? The incentive alignment part. And uh, is this launch uh, consistent uh, with the way they see their diagnostic controls? It's also worth looking forward here to think of what would success mean in terms of performance metrics? So for Google, I don't know what success means in the social network. Would, would they consider themselves successful in one, three, five years if they stole a lot of market share from Facebook? Or would they be even more explicit with, we want to destroy Facebook. Uh, what we would like to see in the next five years is we are the dominant social network. We have like 80%, 90% market share. Right. Our success might simply mean we know we are not going to get a whole lot of market share away from uh, Facebook, uh, but that's fine. Uh, as long as we are keeping them busy on the social network and that way we can, we can do the other stuff uh, without worrying about Facebook hitting us in those areas also. So you need to uh, figure out for the BRL Hardy with the Distinto launch, what do you think success means? Ultimately, what should they be accomplishing? Okay. Um, strategy happens at a lot of different levels. So for BRL Hardy, there's a functional level there marketing, their operations, and so on, which is not even in the slide, but uh, you want to think about the implications, the resource allocation implications there at their value chain. But at the business level, is this helping them with differentiation? Is it helping them to cut costs? Does it make sense? At the corporate level, um, you want, you know, we've had multiple uh, uh, separate lectures on diversification, what, what are the meanings of synergies and spillovers, and uh, would there be a, a spillover uh, in BRL Hardy with Distinto? Uh, 
diversification and in, with 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 BRL Hardy the issue is more one of international diversification than product diversification they are in the wine industry but if you want to keep this discussion broad here uh, you want to really address each of these aspects separately right so you want to address diversification and think back to what you learn under diversification look at vertical integration are you making choices about make versus buy or you know, scrolling down to mode of entry, uh, should it be an alliance, an acquisition, or an internal venture? And you want to give some thought to the trade-offs across these different modes and see whether their proposal makes sense, what are some of the pros, what are some of the cons. Right? Internationally, you know, we've talked about a number of things. We said, well, firms need to be uh, to adapt to the local environment. Uh, they also want to get global economies of scale. They also want to uh, get location uh, benefits of locating uh, and arbitrage. Uh, and likewise, they also want to get uh, learning benefits. So you want to think about from an international perspective, how does this product launch help them uh, to accomplish some of these goals? Okay, we've, we, we've come through a lot. It seems like a lot. It is a lot. It's really the entire course in some sense. Uh, but at the same time, it's also simple enough. If you, if you kind of look at the big picture, uh, you know, what you're, what you're trying to do here is uh, figure out whether a strategy makes sense. Uh, and as you do this, you realize, you know, not all the aspects are equally salient. Some aspects are more important than others. Uh, so that that helps you a little bit. Um, so what does this process do for you? Well, it helps you to provide a thoughtful assessment of the pros and cons. Uh, my guess is uh, after you've read the case, the BRL Hardy case, after you've done your analysis, you'll have a fair list of uh, pros and cons. And uh, then you have to make a decision. The decision is ultimately a judgment call. You know, it's it's going to be a function of how you weigh the pros and cons. And I want an assessment from you as to whether or not they should go for this launch and why you feel the pros uh, outweigh the cons. If you do all of this, you would have learned how to evaluate strategic options. Thank you.